Come have a seat in the Skull Circle, and hear the tale of the Battle of the Wizards, as told by Casimir. Before we begin our tale, did you know that we release new stories for free every week on Wednesdays? Be certain to subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, Spotify, Podbean, or whatever your favorite podcast app is. That way, you'll never miss out when we release free bonus stories other days of the week. Never forget, visit theskullcircle.com to stay up to date with all of our current developments. And to also visit our story archive, sorted by origin and region. Now then, this begins the tale of the Battle of the Wizards. Far away in Lapland, of the many wizards, beyond the Arctic Circle, in midwinter, it is one long night, but what a night! There is silence, the stars sparkle in the vast dark sky. A soft white shimmer glows over the fields of ice and snow covering tundra, valleys and hill. Deep ice binds the lakes and streams. Then sea, upward across the sky, sweep wondrous lights. Amber-colored veils shimmer to and fro. Rosy draperies, garlands and streamers red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Dart, dance, sway, shift, wave, and leap across the sky. Flare up and die down, then spring up again, woven all of rainbow colors. And little dark children of Lapland, of many wizards and much magic, are filled with mystery. They listen for the call of the magic drum, and they watch the aurora lights, and say, See, the warriors are fighting. In the long, long ago, the wizard Nishagurja, chanting magic spells with whistling and drumbeat, came wandering over the frozen marshes. Under a crooked pine tree, he sat down to rest and to boil his dinner of reindeer flesh. And while he was waiting for the cooking pot to simmer, he heard something creak, crack, creak above his head. He looked up through the crooked boughs, an evil face grinned at him. It was Schlipme, the wicked wizard of the wicked moon daughter. Then Nishigurja quickly muttered a spell, and the wicked wizard tumbled to the ground. Wicked Schlipme, said the great wizard, servant of the wicked moon daughter of the caved-in forehead, crooked mouth, and pale, cruel lips that sputter curses. See, my spell has taken you all your power. Nishigurja, snarled the wicked wizard. My magic is still strong and I can call upon the moon spirits to destroy you. Your black arts do not frighten me, answered Nishigurja. Then the wicked Shlipme stood up, and by his black art, grew and grew, taller and taller, to great stature. In his hand, he swung a terrible club made of a spruce tree. I will grind you to powder as fine as the snow on the hillside, he roared. Tremble before me. See what my good magic will do, said Nishigurja. And he muttered a spell, and he too grew taller and taller, and yet taller. Greater he was than the wicked wizard. The tallest pines in the forest scarce reached his knees. The highest peaks of the mountains scarce touched his waist. His chest and shoulders were hid among the clouds. His chin pushed the moon. His eyes glared into the sun. You have taken my strength from me, cried Schlipme in fear. Then they changed themselves into dreadful storm clouds. They rushed among each other. They closed in fierce combat. A mighty roaring was heard. The sky was black. Nishigurja uttered a terrible spell, and Schlipme fell in a heap to the earth. Again you have taken my strength from me, cried the wicked wizard. Once more the two wizards changed their forms. They became two great horned reindeer. They battled over the frozen snow of the hill. The whole forest echoed with the loud crashing of their antlers. The trampling of their hooves shook the earth. Then the wicked wizard was too weak to fight more. He changed himself into a great snake writhing on the ground. Nishigurja too became a snake. They twined and twisted. Their angry hissing could be heard afar off. Their dripping fangs were dreadful to see. Then, suddenly, the wicked wizard stretched himself upon the ground as if dead. In the twinkle of an eye, he became a mighty bird. He soared in wide circles above the great wizard who was still a snake. But Nishigurja too took the form of an eagle. He rose swiftly into the air. He overtook the wicked Schlipme and sank his claws into his back. 
he brought him down to the earth. The wicked Schlipmi, bleeding and torn, howled. Now you've taken all of my strength. And he sank down, down, into the dark under-earth land. Nishigurzer went back to beat his magic drum and to cook his supper of reindeer flesh, while over his head across the deep dark sky flashed and shimmered the many-colored northern lights, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet, and the little children of Lapland cried out, See, the warriors are fighting! And that is the tale of the Battle of the Wizards. Thank you for listening to our story, if you enjoyed it. Please take a look at our Patreon page to learn how you can earn great rewards while also supporting us. We appreciate even the smallest of contributions, as they allow us to continue to release new stories every week for free on Wednesdays, and also to provide bonus stories for your listening pleasure. Visit us at theskullcircle.com to view our story archive, sorted by origin and region, and to stay up to date with all of our current developments. Once again, thank you for listening to our story.